Try not to die out there. Ever play Sabacc? Sure. You? First time I played, I won nine games in a row. Uh, you're just that good, huh? That's the thing. I'm not. It was luck. Never played Sabacc again. I don't trust a lucky streak. Not in this galaxy. Marin's wasted no time in getting comfy on the Manus. Oh, uh, yeah? What did she do? Well, for one, she conveniently seems to forget to clean her own dirty dishes. They just sit right there, right on the table, as if to say, Here, Grays, you clean me. Maybe she hexed them. What? She can do that? <laughs> Maybe you should pitch in and do some George BD. And beeping ain't chores. <laughs> Uh, where to? Bound for Kobo. I need to clear my mind. You're brooding. Again. That easy to read my mind? It's no Jedi trick. I just pay attention. The Shattered Moon. I saw Dagon confront Centauri. He was so consumed by Tantalor that he completely lost his way. Reminds me of my fight with the Empire these last few years. Let's just say I don't want to end up like him. You are very stubborn, but ambition does not drive you. Huh. I just don't understand why she didn't see the change in him before it was too late. They dreamed together and suffered together. Shared dream is not so easy to wake from. Is that what troubles you? Losing yourself? Yeah. A little. If you ever stray from your path, We will guide you back.
All our work is really paying off, BD. Ah, I was hoping you'd find seeds like that. Put one in the ground. I'll share what I've learned. You found a jelly spire, I see. It may look flimsy, but they have a strong, fibrous core keeping them steady. That fire pineapple will bloom, I am sure of it. Cut past the roots, and the fruit beneath is quite delicious, if you can endure its pungency. A bluebell squish! How fascinating! Its flower has a most unusual scent, drawn from the moss as it blooms. I find it quite pleasant. The plants need me. You gave Ravis the sack. You know, you weren't the first to take a swing at that Gendai. Ever hear about Toll? I don't think so. Oh, real poet with a pickaxe. A while back, she comes across this load of priorite, the biggest you ever saw, like a sky full of grinning stars. Of course, then your Ravis shows up, built like a bloody cargo barge, and tells her to get scarce. But Toll, <laughs> the old nutter, she goes and takes her plasma torch to the Gendai. Of course, poor Tall don't last ten seconds. But I guess sometimes a farm like that's worth fighting for, eh? Yeah, well, sometimes the payout isn't worth the price. Uh, maybe. But it's just like the prospectors say. Better a broken pick than a rusted one. Do wish you could have met old Tall. Bit loony, but with real heart. Sounds like it. Grease told you this? Indeed. You ain't never seen someone move like that. The Latero lies. You must make him fear you. Then he will speak truth. Oh, wow. Here you are. So, is that how it happened? Um, no. I told you. Grease lies. How mortifying. He must pay. We should curse him. Make him suffer. If you hurt him, he won't be able to cook you scas steaks. Nobody asked your opinion, Calcastus. Z, got any advice on confronting Dagon? Well, in my day, I did watch him spar countless times. A ferocious warrior, that one. With a keen instinct for recognizing weakness. So don't show any. If only it was that easy. I know. Why is it our enemies always seem to be the ones to exploit our failings? Not now, Cal. With Ravis dead, the Bedlam Raiders have been wounded. This makes them dangerous. They weren't exactly harmless before. No, they were not. I will look after the outpost. The Raiders may strike if they think we are vulnerable. I'll be back as soon as I can. I know you will, and I will be waiting. Don't you have a mountain to climb? Cal, we were just discussing what we should renovate next. Just lots else to fix around here, thanks to the raiders, you know. Yes, of course, but surely we can find something a bit more inspiring for our next project than a water pump. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Not now, dear. So, it looks like we aren't the only ones who found romance on Kobo. What, Turgle and Two Locked? I don't think that's in the stars. Come now, Cal. That delightfully dark Mervon has been casting wayward glances at you. Marin? What was the look? Hmm. She's a hard one to read. You, however, couldn't be more obvious. So, what are you waiting for? Good question. 
a lot going on right now. Okay. Don't get so caught up that you miss the small things. Those are the things you'll remember. Hey there. Zig's right, Cal. I spent most of my life ensnared by opulence. None of that seems very important now. Well, hello! It seems you've beaten all of these players. Is there someone else you can find? See you soon, Cal. Okay, what should we listen to? Hey Toa, you mentioned things were changing at the Academy before you left. It started when the Empire began dumping credits into our projects. Unlimited budget to fund our research. Great, right? But there were strings attached. Yes. We came under constant pressure from Imperial censors to conform to their propaganda. Anyone who did not play along was pushed out in favor of stooges whose work would never stand up under peer review. No moth or governor wants to publish views that question Imperial dominance. I mean, I understand. The censors have their own careers to think of. It's okay, Toa. You don't have to defend a corrupt system. No, I guess not. Some other time, okay? These dotes. Reveling as if things are better. I can't blame them for being glad Ravis is gone. I can and will. The Raiders are still out there causing mayhem. And even where they're gone, there's the Empire. Place one boot with another. It doesn't change anything. Always a pleasure, Moran. Anytime. Dull fools dancing into the jaws of oblivion. Well, not me. Oh, thank you. Hey, Cal, did you hear those vulture droids screaming around the mountain? Not yet. Wait, don't tell me you're thinking of sampling them. Thinking? It's already done. Didi and I just got back. Must have been dangerous. Oh, yeah. We almost died like 10 times. But once we layered those samples over some lo-fi Trandoshan funk, you gotta hear it to believe it. Don't forget to talk to Didi if you want to switch songs. I won't forget. Monk, I could really use a drink. Just a moment longer. I'll be by when I can. Seems like you and Doma have some history. That's right. She took me in, showed me around, hid me, because I was on the run, Cal. On the run, huh? What'd you do? The heist of the century. Every bounty hunter in the galaxy was after me. You pulled off a heist? Is that so hard to believe? Well, yeah. And that's how I pulled it off. No one thinks much of me around here, so they never see me coming. <laughs> they never see me coming. And that's when I get them. Gotta hand it to you, Cal. Wherever you go, the action surely follows. Hey, you wanted customers, right? That I did. The place is packed. And if we keep going at this rate, we're gonna need a bouncer. Well, maybe Mosey's looking for some extra income. Interesting proposition. If I had to put my life in someone else's hands, it'd be Mosey's. You keep your eyes on the path ahead. Ah, it is you. A word of caution. Here we go, BD. One sun sets, another rises. Hotter, brighter, blinding. Blinding? As you said, when a sun sets, the lot wolves will always howl for its return. And who are these wolves in this vision of yours? Oh, indeed. He who walks with wolves is taught to howl. Why is the breed looking for you on Coruscant? Isn't that a real bad neighborhood for you these days? 
Let's not get into it. Good answer. Anyways, a sharpshooter named Get Mito has been trying to sniff you out at a meatpacking facility. Brought a couple of lackeys with her, but pick off the alpha and the pack is get her. We'll keep our eyes on the prize. Good. Hate to see something happen to you. The going's just gonna get good, pal. Gendai is dead. Is that your work, bud? And if it was? Just curious is all. So, how'd you do it? You slice off his leg? No, they would just grow back, right? Oh, you incinerated him, did you? I don't want to talk about it. Ah, I suppose a true professional never reveals their secrets. I must be rubbing off on you. Well, killer, here's another tip. Real pros always charge a fee. Don't relax too much, pal. You may have downed a big one, but there's a lot of players in the game who still want you dead. Your turn to choose, BD. Barkeep. What can I do for you? If you need a hand, we're an oasis in the sand. And if you die in a thirst, well, a drink, they ain't the worst. And if you're running from a blaster, better run a little faster. Run to Pylon Saloon, and we hope we see you soon. It was good to see you. Word is that Ravis got bumped off. Word travels fast. Sure, when there's credits to be made. Send the raiders running, and we're in business. That's right. We get back into the gorge, kickstart those dams, maybe we finally make some real scratch. Those dams are in rough shape. Think you're up to it? I know them like the hairs on my back. What Grok here means is we can make them sing again. Yeah, trust us. Keep up the good work, kid. Say we short the central conduit, slice it through the emergency couplings. Might be enough to get the sluice gates going. Huh. Might actually work. Cal, glad you're here. There's talk of a giant piazza nesting in an animal graveyard on the far side of the valley. Figured you want to check it out. You figured right. Look at you. Already sounding like a local. Oh, before I forget. I heard there were a pair of newcomers over by the stone spires. I want to look for them. I already found them. They're gonna start a hollow tactics table at Pyloons. Now we're talking. Piazza that size? Well, just don't take it lightly. I won't. Thanks, Mosey. Hunt alone? Not always. For big game, I usually bring a partner or two. Strength in numbers. That's right. In a pack, each hunter has their own role. Safer, too. We have a saying from where I'm from. A branch of a grill tree can be snapped in half, but a bundle of branches cannot. Lighter BD. Something smells good. That would be Great Grandma Pyloon's potato namba patty. How'd she learn to cook so well? Oh, she had no choice. With eight children, 36 grandchildren, and two lost cats, she was cooking for a small army. I'm glad we can still enjoy her recipes. Me too. Grandma Pyloon's cooking lives on. But the lost cats, not so much. 
All right, finish this thing, will you? I'm going, I'm going. You've been coming around here so much, you're basically a regular. You've got great stuff. Most shop owners would offer a discount or the like, but <clears throat> not me. Nothing personal, but you start handing out freebies, you have people up in arms asking, why not me, Doma? <laughs> Don't need to hassle. That makes sense. Grease ever tell you the story of how we met? No, let's hear it. Oh, well, he first landed. Talking dreams of taking over a cantina, I pegged him as just another prior right vulture. Someone who comes out of nowhere, turns a credit from a few suckers, and skips town. Of course, when I saw him putting real care into the cantina, well, I knew we were cut from the same cloth. Pyloons is as important to him as the Mantis. That's why he named it after his great-grandma. That's right. You stick with Grease. He's one of the good ones. Just don't tell him I said that. Your secret's safe with me. Cal, what's up with that woman who showed up with you? Aaron, she's a good friend. What about her? Mm, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Are you afraid of Marin? Me? Oh, no, no, no. It's just... Well, I've never seen anyone like her before. Marin's a night sister. A night what? Wait, what is, what is that? She's from Dathomir, and she can perform magic. <laughs> now you're just yanking my Waluna ears. I'm not. She can wake the dead. Don't worry. You have nothing to be afraid of. Usually. Cal! Well, all I know is if the dead start walking around here, you gonna get an earful. All goods acquired completely legally, thank you very much. Won't find that anywhere else. Gonna go with this one. You know a good deal when you see it. This will be useful. All sales fine. Bye bye now.
I had a nightmare about the caverns again. Where old man Funky made his fortune. Folks say the cavern's cursed. Of course. Folks say a lot of things. Cursed or not. It's riddled with raiders. And they're always up to no good. Yep. I can vouch for that. You venture into those caverns yet? I'll go myself. Yeah, but you seem like you can handle a few raiders. Why'd you ask me here? I don't like you, and you don't like me. That's right. But you annoy me a lot less than the others in this go-nowhere town. And I think you feel the same. What are you saying? Out with it already. I'm saying this is a date. And we're on it. And if you don't like it, too bad.
How long can we survive until help arrives? I do not think help will be arriving at all. We are alone.
I know, I know. Come on now. It'll be okay. You okay? The beast here gets spooked when something's wrong. Don't know what it is, but I've learned to trust him. You headed up the mountain? Looks like it. I don't know if that's mad or brave or both, but you watch yourselves up there, you hear? You got it. Prospector's folly, we call it. Pretty treacherous. Crawling with all kinds of dangers. Sounds like our kind of place. There's stuff beyond these crags that make your blood run cold. Oh, we could tell you some stories. This is BD-1. My bottom old mum dubbed me Scuba Stev. Scuba the Fisher, am I? You know, there's a fish tank down in Pylon Saloon that could use some attention. Pylon Saloon? That will have infested watering hole down in your valley. All right, all right. Good I ask. Ah, fine, twist my arm. I'll do it. Meet me at the saloon and we'll appraise this so-called tank. Not. You're the aspect of a fisher lad. And uh, lucky for you, we're perched just above the lair of the sea fish. Sea fish, huh? That's right. An impossible catch. No fisher in the right mind would pursue such a quarrelsome foe. No fisher, but scuba stem. Thanks.
This is BD-1. Are you here to rescue us? We were just exploring. How long you been here? We have been trapped down here for at least a standard cycle. Maybe more. We? Ah, oh, yes. It is just me. And has been for some time. But you have cleared the way. Are the raiders gone then? We took care of them. Maybe you should leave before more come. Yes, I will return to the outpost at Rambler's Reach. We... had a domicile there. I hope to see you again. the passage. I'm, I'm sorry. Farewell. Let's stop here. Ready to go. platform here. Dirty. This 
stuff is everywhere. I don't like the look of it. We should be careful. Scour this place for anything of note. If anyone tries to interfere, crush them. Intruder! Find something?
Rancor? Really? They're going all out. Unbelievable. Truly, the Jedi are just as skilled as I was led to believe. Ravis was right about you. What makes you think you'll do any better? The caverns are deep and dangerous, Jedi. There is more you do not know. <laughs> Oh, nice. Nice find. Let's take this back to Zeke. 